Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, delicious in my kitchen. I've got some ground beef. I'm going to show you how to make beefy salsa verde enchiladas with a sour cream sauce. You ready? Let's go ahead and put this one together. I'm adding one large diced onion to a large skillet that I've heated up with one tablespoon of oil. All right, y'all always ask me what is in my oil bottle that I pour into a lot of my dishes. It's an avocado oil, and I find this at Costco, and also you can find it at Walmart. And it's called, uh, well, the brand that I use is Chosen Foods. But we really like the flavor of this when we're cooking down meats or vegetables. It's really good oil. All right, so I'm getting my onions ready. This is going to be a ground beef enchilada, verde style. And when I say verde style, verde is a type of salsa. It's a green salsa. It's got tomatillos that are roasted, jalapeno peppers, roasted poblano peppers, some onions, some salt, cilantro, garlic powder, and other ingredients there. So that's what's in it. I'm going to be adding one and a half pounds of ground beef. So I'm going to break up the ground beef and cook it until it's no longer pink. Me and this chopper go way back, almost four years. When I first created my channel, my mom got me this meat chopper here, and I love this tool because you just place it on your meat, any kind of ground meat, and you just place it down, push down, and twist. And it breaks it up into small pieces. I will link this tool here down below my description box. If you can't find it there, you go to my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com, where you'll find a lot of the tools that I like to use, my cookbooks, and lots of recipes. So go check it out. Once your meat is all browned, you want to drain any excess fat out of it. We're going to go ahead and give it some flavor. I've got some taco seasoning. Now you can either use like one packet of taco seasoning that you get from the store or you can make your own homemade version. And making your own homemade version you would need three tablespoons per pound of meat that you are cooking. Look at that color in there. Oh, all natural ingredients. I will link my recipe for homemade taco seasoning down below if you haven't seen it yet. There's a video for it also. I'm going to put one more in since I did put a pound and a half of ground beef in there. The recipe for my taco seasoning here is also found on my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com. We want to add a little liquid to this. What I'm going to do is add a quarter cup of our roasted salsa verde. We're going to use it in the meat mixture and we're also going to use it as we're building our enchiladas. I'm going to stir this all up. Now my taco seasoning already has the salt and the pepper in it, so I'm not going to season this with salt and pepper. But give it a try. Once you get everything mixed up, get a spoon and give it a try and see if you want to add any other flavorings to this. Because this is your meat mixture right here. I'm going to turn off the heat. Let's build some enchiladas. I've got a 9 by 13 baking dish. What I'm going to do is spray it with some cooking spray. Put about a quarter cup of the salsa verde on the bottom. And then we'll just give it a shake. I'm going to take a tortilla. Now you can use corn tortillas or flour tortillas. I'm using flour tortillas here. They're just regular size. I'm going to put a few tablespoons of the mixture here, the ground beef mixture, put it right in the center. Now any kind of Mexican flavored cheese that you want to use, I'm just going to put a little sprinkle across the meat. And then I'm just going to roll it. So I'm going to pull one end over, tuck it in under the meat, and then just roll. 
and then I'm going to place it in my baking dish. Got my tortilla. I would say about two tablespoons of the mixture. The cheese. Pull it over. Push in to the meat mixture. Roll it. And we're going to place it into our baking dish. Make sure you put it in your baking dish seam side down. Now I'm working on my second casserole dish because this makes a lot. You can freeze one and have it later when it's already prepared and ready to go. Okay, I'm going to take the rest of my salsa verde and I'm going to divide it amongst the two baking dishes here and then just spread it over the tops of the enchiladas. So I'm just going to spread it on. I'm just going to push it through the edges here. That way they're nice and wet and they don't get stuck together. All right, I've got some Monterey Jack cheese. This is eight ounces, so I'm gonna sprinkle half on this batch and then half on the other batch. There are my two baking dishes of ground beef enchiladas with salsa verde. Now we're gonna place these in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes until our cheese is nice and melted and golden brown. All we're doing is just heating this all through because the meat and everything is already cooked. I pulled my enchiladas out of the oven. I'm gonna make a quick green chili sour cream sauce to pour over these enchiladas. I'm gonna add four ounces of the green chilies that are diced. They just come in a little can like this. One cup of sour cream. One cup of chicken broth. I'm just gonna take a whisk and blend this all together. And we're gonna heat it through. We want it nice and smooth. I'm only over a medium high heat. Now if you wanna thicken this faster, you can put some cornstarch in here. What I would do is just take a little bit of the liquid out, add some cornstarch to it, mix it up, and then pour it back in. Incorporate this all back together. Get it to the thickness we desire, and we want to be able to spoon this over the enchiladas. I'm sorry y'all missed Joseph making this Mexican-inspired dish, but he was at work today. But he will be in home in time to enjoy it, so that's good. Okay, I pulled three out of the baking dish. Look at how delicious that is. That white creamy sauce that I put on here, mmm. Whose bite is that? I'm going in. Mmm. The green chilies on the top just finish this dish off. Mmm. Very delicious. All right, if you have some ground beef that you need to make something with, here's a perfect recipe for enchiladas. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on this one, comment down below, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification, that way you'll always know when my shows are posted. I'm on Facebook, Pinterest, and my recipe blog at katherinesplates.com, where you can also find my cookbooks. Guys, I will see you on my next episode.